remember this? I finished this quilt top sometime last year and at the time I just didn't feel like I wanted to quilt it straight away because I wanted to like let it I don't know, let ideas just kind of percolate for a while. But I'm now starting to feel like I know how I want to quilt it. I haven't got all the details down, but I kind of, I like these kind of diamonds that aren't fully there, but are kind of there. There's hints of a diamond shape going all the way through it. So I think I want to quilt it as a series of diamonds making use of that shape. And I don't know what I'm going to do within that, but I'll kind of make it up as I go along. I'll start on this central diamond and do something with that and then just slowly work my way out. I've drawn a kind of a little diagram for myself, a road map of the kind of shapes I was seeing when I first looked at it. So that when I've got it on my machine and the, the space I'm looking at is just a fraction of it, I don't forget what the whole thing looks like. I decided to start with a sort of leafy floral motif in the centre diamond. This might have been a good place to use rulers but I'm not feeling confident enough with them yet so I'm sticking to free motion quilting. Next is a narrow border. I'm going to take advantage of all those half square triangles and make big echo triangles along one side and then fill in between them with a tiny spiral meander. border is a wider one, so looks like a good place to put some feathers. back to a narrow border. I thought about repeating what I'd done in the first narrow border but that would be boring. So I'm going to repeat the echo triangles just to keep one element the same but in between this time I'm going to fill with wishbones. Okay, I'm having fun coming up with something different for every border, so I decided to fill this next wide border with big swirly spirals.
This is the final border on that inner diamond. It's a narrow one again, so I'm going to go back to triangles, and this time micro stippling in between them. And that's as far as I've got so far. It's still a long way to go obviously, but I've finished that big inner diamond, so this seems like a nice place to pause. I've got quite a few other projects that are waiting to be done, and a couple of them have deadlines, so I'm going to put this aside for a while and come back to it in a month or two, which gives me a bit of time to get inspired for what the next steps are. <laughs> so I go out of that diamond and transition into some of the other shapes around the edges. You might have noticed I've got a new exciting title sequence at the beginning of this video. That was created by my friend Catherine from Cats Games and Edits. You should check out her channel if you want to see some of the other really creative stuff that she's doing with video editing. I'll put a link to it in the description below. I think it's below. YouTube keeps moving where things are, but it'll be in the description bit. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I'll see you next time. Ka kite anō internet. <laughs>